Hey you guys, I am back. Um, for those of you who do know me, thank you for coming back. And um, please like and subscribe for those of you who don't know me. My name is D, and um, some know me by Dr. D. I took a bit of a hiatus, I'm not gonna lie. I took some time off because several reasons. Reason number one was I was in the midst of looking for work and trying to decide on um, school or work. And at the time, work had more importance at that point in time. So now I'm back in that shift. But um, happy 2020 to all my viewers and to those who are new to my channel. I know I don't have that many subscribers. I appreciate those of you I do have. You're going to hear cartoons. You're going to hear TV. Um, you're going to hear my daughter in the background. Probably the fish tank. <laughs> if you hear some drizzling of water. Because her fish tank um, is in the middle of cleaning. Um, and I can't put any more water in there until the cleaning cycle finishes on the pump. Anywho. Um, I don't want to make this a very long video because um, I'm going to be mostly talking. There's not an intro to this video. But I just wanted to thank you guys for um, tuning in, first of all. Um, not many subscribers and those of you who do tune in those of you who do comment I truly appreciate your love and your support and your positivity it is absolutely amazing um, lastly and this is the point of the video where I get to talk about the 2020 goals so um, I don't have just goals for 2020 I have goals for the next 10 years, so 2020 to 2030. Unfortunately, they don't have 10 year calendars that I could find. I only found a five year planner, and that's a good thing. The next five years are slightly planned out. <laughs> I have some goals um, set in mind. So, um, one of the things that I'm going to uh, start doing is, um, you know, if I actually, I shouldn't say start doing, I'm going to continue doing because I started doing it again this year but i'm more in depth i've become more detail oriented when it comes to it um i'm working more on um our hair and our skin and just the growth rate the um the elasticity of our skin we're getting to a point now in this day and age where the weather's much drier sometimes it's not we got snowed in twice and that weather was not nice to either one of our hair or skin so one of the things that i've incorporated into our daily regimen and i say our because my daughter and myself are doing the same daily regimen um for her she had started getting a little blemish i don't know what from on her on her left cheek excuse me on her left cheek and the blemish it was it was actually bothering me a little bit and the reason why it was bothering me, and forgive me because I got to plug in my ring light, it was bothering me because my daughter rarely has like skin issues. So I started researching, you know, why children get blemishes. And it's the same kind of thing when she was an infant. Um, her skin got irritated due to getting used to being outside the womb. So what happened? She got baby acne. And how did I heal that? <laughs> Breast milk. So since I don't have breast milk for blemishes, which was one of the suggestions, um, the other option was aloe vera. So I literally started us on an aloe vera cleansing for our face and a moisturizer for our hair. So for our hair, we just do straight aloe vera. Um, and I did get the 100% aloe vera juice, which has been working. A lot of people did reviews on if the aloe vera juice did anything. If you can see, my skin has been purging. And I've never experienced purging um, before. And a lot of people say, oh, if you're purging, you're eating too many fats. Well, you can't purge fat if you're not eating a lot of fat. So, um when i spoke to my dermatologist friend he explained to me that 
for the last five days you've been spraying just a straight aloe vera after you wash your face <laughs> after you wash your face and you just spray the aloe vera on you let it dry you let it sit you don't wash it off or anything and i say yeah i just let it stay on overnight and then the next morning i wash my face i put the aloe vera on and then we put on our moisturizer and then we go my daughter's blemish i kid you not her blemish if i could have taken the courage to put her online she had something similar to this just on the side of her cheek here it is almost gone and so i was like okay great and then i looked at a before and after photo of my face from i want to say a couple months ago and tried to see if i could spot all the blemishes on mine nothing has changed on my face my face is purging <laughs> so that is one of the things that i've started for our hair every night i spray our hair with a mixture of olive oil aloe vera and water and the reason why I spray our hair with that is um, the aloe vera, it helps with the growth. It helps with retaining the moisture. It locks in. The olive oil helps also to lock in the moisture. And then the water, you don't want just pure aloe vera sitting on your hair like that. So I figured I'd mix a 50-50 and we'd go from there. And so far, it when I say it's been a dream worker, it's been a dream worker. Her itchy scalp is gone. My itchy scalp is gone. Um, I've noticed a difference in the texture of both of our hair. It's just been overall really good. So that's great. Um, in terms of challenging myself, I've really put myself into a position to um, do less in terms of worrying as much as I can do less of that <laughs> as a mom and put myself into a more proactive role. Um, so, for instance, my job was supposed to become permanent. Unfortunately, on day 91, I was let go. And for whatever purpose it was, I believe that God closes one door, he opens another, and that will work itself out. In terms of my goals, I did not erase anything out except for my work hours. So this is my 2020 to 2024 um, monthly planner and in it I have written down all of my goals um, I was hoping to have my job <laughs> last time someone saw me on a video intro I was crying because that job did the same thing that this one did it's compiled with issues that we won't even go there but long story short um, God is still good he still has my mind set at ease that the goals that I'm setting can be accomplished. I just have to be willing to step out on faith and work on each and every last one. So um, praise God for that. The one thing I am going to do um, for new viewers and my current, um, my current viewers is for one, say thank you so much again for coming back to my channel, watching this video. But now that you've made it to the end, I have a challenge for you. My challenge for you this year is to grab yourself, whether it's a, for just 2020 or if it's two year, four year, five year planner, however many years you want to find a planner for. I don't know how many years. Most planners go up to, I think it's five. Um, if you can find one that's longer and you feel like you want to do longer, I encourage you to do it. You can use Google Calendar, Yahoo Calendar, whatever calendar you use. I, I implore you and I challenge you to set up a, a goal that you would like to reach. Whether it's uh, read a certain amount of chapters in a certain book. Um, you know, drop 10, 15 pounds. Gain 5 or 10, 15 or 20. However, the goal you have, I, I urge you and challenge you to join me in the the trials that we'll go through. Post and tell me what challenge you've decided that you wanna try and do and what you're gonna to do to achieve it. What kind of motivation um, that you may like to have that I could possibly give to you to help you through your challenge. And for those of you who do, um, for those of you who do 
uh, join me in any challenge, I will definitely give you a shout out in the next video. And um, just keep me updated on your progress as I'll keep you updated on mine. You'll see me um, almost day to day. I <laughs> can't say I'll post every day, but you will definitely see me a lot more often. You'll see some of the things that I do to prepare for my day. Um, one of the things I am going to do is I, I do my own eyelashes. I don't go and get my eyelashes done. Fortunately, I have these little baby lashes, so I kind of just add to it. Um, I do like doing my makeup. I'm not amazing at it, but it's, I guess, close enough for government work. And so um, for those of you who I'm going to say don't feel better about yourself, don't feel good about yourself, I urge you to look in the mirror and find one thing that you love about you and enjoy that part of you. Uh, for me, I actually had to start enjoying the weight gain because I realized that I'm not tiny anymore and I now have to buy, slightly buy new clothes because in your 30s you do gain weight. And then on thyroid medication, you gain some weight. So I'm at that point now where I have to like the fact that my cheeks are no longer skinny. And I have to learn how to contour my face. <laughs> so I urge you, I implore you to set some goals, whether it's only for this year or whether it's for the next five, set some goals and tell me what they are. Give me a couple examples of what you would like to do in order to obtain those goals so that we can all work together as a group, you know, as a village and support one another and help each other through another year of whatever may come i don't ever want to speak negative so whatever may come and hopefully at that point we'll all be able to say hey i did it i reached that goal and i'm here i reached the point of where i wanted to be and so join me as we go on a journey together so my goal is take care of myself and my daughter meaning get our hair grown out get our skin back to where I would love for it to be um, work out a little bit more eat much much healthier um, my second goal is I want to buy a house and I want to get a new car because we need a bigger car we have a car but I would like to have a larger car so that's my second goal is to get a house and a car. So I say second and third. My fourth and final goal is to get our hair longer. I would love to have longer natural hair so I could just wear it like this and pineapple it up every now and again and not worry about it and shake it out the next morning. But let me know what your goals are. Let me know what it is that you think you would need motivation in and if I can help you I definitely will give you a shout out and give you some tips and pointers if I can on anything and if you guys have any questions um, that maybe you think I could find out how to get it taken care of in terms of your goals seeing how maybe trying something different might help let me know in the comments below if you would like to know what the monthly planner I got, I'll definitely put a link in the description box um, so that you guys can get one of those if that's something you'd like to do. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye.